Okay, welcome back. This account or this video is about an account going pure free to play all the way to T4 account or hopefully T4 account. So we've been tracking and right now it has been about 28 days since we first started this account. And this is the seventh update. And some of the changes that I'll show you are, let's see, we are at, again, first purchase bonus has not been cashed in. We're still F2P. I've actually managed to open level 40. I, I don't know if we did that on last update or not, but that's where we are. So I can actually change gears and I'm looking forward to level 45 or other gears. Now, as far as the player or the heroes go, I did get Old Keeper to rank 6 now, and I'm in the process of making the other ones rank 6. And there are a few heroes that I can open up or I should open up, but I haven't really as Being an F2P, you don't get as many Bravehearts as what I'm usually used to having. So, it's going to take some time, but I think my focus will be on the main ones that I want to put on the wall and the ones that can help me in Colosseum and for monster hunting. So, Tracker is probably my next one that I'm trying to take to rank 6. I can just uh, get 5 medals for this particular one. Then I should be able to take her to rank six as well. So I'm working on that. But each one of these, not my next move on all of these heroes will be rank six. So I'm not looking to grade them up to different color. I'm actually looking to get them up to high rank. And of course, my ultimate goal is to get them to rank seven as quick as possible. Okay, so as far as research, I have gone and done a few more researches. I have used some speeds for these as well uh, because of the wild that we were involved in. So I was trying to get my T3 open as quick as possible. I just opened uh, calves this morning, got um, the siege started. So once siege gets done in about five days, I'll probably do some army researches then repeat the process now once once I do that I will probably once my t3 opens I think I'll focus on familiars and take it to opening pack 2 and possibly pack 3 because we all know pack 2 has a lot of resource stuff and pack 3 has uh, stat boosting familiars for attacking or whatever fighting so I will probably go after those and as far as my castle go it's it's not the greatest castle out there because it's FTP and it's level 17 with only about 68,000 yeah 68,000 troops I just got done building 9200 uh, T3 infantry what I will probably do at level 17 is I'm upgrading everything and probably leveling out my buildings. So for it to go to 18, it does require my, what do you call this, uh, vault to be level 17. So I'm actually taking this, working on taking this to 17 right now. It is is. It is in the process of getting 15, so I'll do 16, 17. Once I get 17 on that, I will probably work on my infirms and mainers and then barracks and bring them up to par to about 17 as well. Now you'll see my resources here that's up to 17. These mines I will not worry about. I'm not worried about hypering right now. I will worry about that later after I get everything lined up but most likely hypering situation I'm probably not going to do until I get to level C25 now I will upgrade them if like 
it says 36 minutes or whatever so if I have where uh, it's a free upgrade for the buildings yes I'll get those done but I'm not gonna pay too much attention on getting these upgraded before other buildings I'd rather go C25 way before I start working on these and that's how I've always played it and that's what I'm probably gonna do I'm not worried about hypering so much ore at this point another good news for me as F2P this is huge thing here every resources event so this thing for how many hours is that 17 okay almost five days right for five days we're going to get these monsters where I can pick up a lot of resources and that will probably end my RSS problems until whenever so I those five days I will probably log on to this account more than my other accounts just so or at least for the monster hunts and pick up those uh, resources as much as I can there's a good chance I may even use a relocator or random relocator to get out of um, the hive and maybe find the remote area now food is has not been a issue for me 81 million is plenty at this point but look at my stone like 420,000 my you know all of these are both around hovering around 10 million those researches are really hurting the gold and all of these so definitely I need to pay attention and I need to pay or give some effort to those other ones so okay so that's that we know the troop composition that I have at this point, right? So 9,200, so it's nothing. One hit, zero down, no problem. Right? I'm still not using any shield or anything because I'm sheltering every 12 hours. And it's not bad. I mean, just before you go to sleep, shelter, wake up, shelter, and then one day or one time log in during the middle of the day and shelter and Basically, that covers 24 hours around the clock, so I don't really need it. And even, you know, at a point where I go beyond my shelter capability, then I can probably put them on Ghost Rally or potentially find out, see who's got Long Shield. I haven't had to go through that right now just because I don't need it, but maybe uh, soon enough, within a week or two, I maybe. Because... F2P, I mean, my other accounts, I wouldn't even think twice about it and I would just put on a shield. But, you know, I, I was able to get two 24 hour shield off of whatever, you know, the gifts or whatever it might have been. But they're very valuable to me at this point for F2P. So I tried to not use many of these or the shield or even relocators. I got two relocators so I'm I'm not trying to use 1500 gem relocator for whatever I may do it for the resources by random randoming out and then coming back home with one relocator but yes I am definitely being a little stingy on all of these things in my bag and that's because I'm pure F2P and that's what I'll remain within this account if this account ever goes to p2p and if ever comes to that point i will probably update what the video is saying you know i'm going to kill this castle and just let it be because i don't really need another castle that i'm using money for and this is pure just to see how far we can get or how fast we can get to t4 so Okay, what else? Um, because I'm sheltering most of the time, I can't watch my troops. If I only have one castle, yes, I might be able to watch my troops and do that. So for that reason, I cannot participate in a lot of darkness. So it's kind of empty. But at this point, you know, DNs really are not giving you that much stuff. So I'm not too worried about it. Now, I did manage to get... 10k into this in 26 days I will get some gems out so since I've deposited 10,000 gems which I collected free over a period of time from the game I've amassed this uh, 1900 gems at this point so 
Yes, I'm rich. What else we got? Again, my leader, I'm keeping this particular guy just because I don't need to use him for anything. And by having him in shelter, I, I have access to all other leaders, which I can use for calls or for stages. Because I don't want to put my best uh, leader away and not have access to it during stages. And for those new guys who are playing, if you are in stages with your leader out and you don't have shield on it, they attack you, yes, your leader can get captured. It's him being in stages does not, or her being in stages does not protect her. Okay, so I'll collect 30 more gems here. I think that's about it. Oh, I went over 2,000 gems now. So, in 26 days, when I get, let's say, I don't know, 16,000 gems, I deposit 10,000 back in, 6,000 into my account, plus maybe, I don't know, a couple more thousand. So, I'll be hovering at 10K, which would be good as a FTP. So, yeah, free to play or free to play players definitely need to watch out on their usage of their gems and other resources also guild coins 660k on top of one migration scroll so i'm almost coming up on another 810 once i come up on 810 i will probably purchase another migration scroll during next guild fest Okay, so the hive outside looks like this here. And now I am among one of the purples. So I'm trying to keep up. I'm trying to keep up as F2P. A lot of the players here are P2P or P2W. So let's see how if we can hang as a free to free to play player. So any comments or questions, just post it down and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.